we're covering all of your body's burning sensations and how to soothe them starting right now. And if you've ever had heartburn, you know how bad the pain can be, as it was for our guest, Micah. For years, I have experienced horrible heartburn and indigestion and acid reflux. I finally went to prescription medications and those are not working. It's to the point where I can't even drink water anymore without getting heartburn. It's caused me a lot of pain and discomfort and it's uh, just been a nightmare. It keeps me up during the night throwing up occasionally. It feels like somebody is literally pouring battery acid down me. I'm nervous, but yet I'm really excited. I really need to do something to fix this problem so that I can enjoy my life. Micah has chosen to have the surgery done to help reduce heartburn, and we're going to basically perform a procedure without having any abdominal incisions and recreate that valve at the end of the esophagus to prevent any reflux of acid or bile into your esophagus. The first thing that we're going to do is go in, take a look at the stomach, and look at the gastroesophageal junction where the valve will be created. What we've done here is we have uh, used a helical tack to pull on the stomach, and then we fire these little plastic cufflinks they look like little blue price tag holders, and we will be firing about 12 of these blue sutures that are permanent and recreate the valve so that no acid or bile can ever touch the esophagus in the future. I can actually feel how good of a purchase of tissue we have with the device as I'm firing these sutures. I think that she had a terrific repair of her valve at the junction of the esophagus and stomach. I believe that she's on her way back to having tomato sauce, garlic, and wine back in their diet. Mike and Dr. Carson Liu are joining us today. Welcome. Thank you. So everyone's clapping. The question is, how long has it been? It's been three weeks since Monday. And, and your heartburn? Gone. And you're eating solid foods? I'm eating solid foods. No problem at all. It's wonderful. I, I heard maybe even some Mexican food. Yes, and hot, very hot, spicy Mexican food. Wine, Italian. You name it, I love it. And you talked about using over-the-counter medicines, prescription medicines. Why was Micah a great candidate for this particular procedure? Micah's a great candidate because this is someone that's tried every medicine under the sun. She's tried prescription medications, and it doesn't really work or barely work, and she was ready to, to really try something more of a, a drastic and getting rid of the heartburn. Because if you're someone who suffers from heartburn once every six months for one day, and it's relieved with over-the-counter medicines, you don't need this procedure. And I, I want to explain to folks what GERD is because GERD is a fancy name for gastroesophageal reflux disease, a.k.a. heartburn. When you eat your food, it mixes with saliva and obviously it empties into your stomach where a crucial thing happens. Your stomach produces acid, not only to help digest things, but it also kills off certain bacteria. The problem is that junction you heard us talking about in during the surgery, it can become loosened in some folks, and that acid will travel all the way up the esophagus, like you saw in that animation, causing chronic burning, chronic heartburn. The reason that people who suffer from it chronically need to get it looked into and even potentially have a procedure is it can cause esophageal cancer. It can cause a host of problems. So this procedure is one that you don't have any incisions anywhere. No. And you're someone who used to have to avoid coffee, chocolate, fatty fried foods, because that makes it worse. Mm -hmm. So walk us through this animation, sure. how you do this. All right, so um, we, we use this device here, and it goes over an endoscope, and the endoscope is used to visualize everything. We're going to flex the scope, look up, and pull on the junction of the uh, stomach and esophagus and fire these little plastic sutures that will create a partial one-way valve to prevent acid and bile from going back up to the esophagus, therefore getting rid of all of the uh, heartburn. So that is the, the main thing with this uh, procedure. It's a very simple outpatient procedure. One in four Americans are effect, afflicted by heartburn, and they're taking a pill a day, and that pill can cause osteoporosis, malabsorption, calcium, all kinds of horrible effects if you've taken it for more than five years. So that is a, probably a clear-cut point when people should start thinking about maybe getting a procedure, an outpatient procedure that takes about an hour and a half. To so you're basically this. reinforcing that valve so food goes down, 
not back up. What's the success rate of this procedure? About 91% of the people can get off of their medications and stay off of it in the long term. So we could get you know, most of the people cured of this problem. They don't have to take a pill once or twice a day. And a lot of these uh, pills pretty much keep you on them forever because as soon as you stop it, you get this acid rebound and all this acid comes up in your back. Because the pills, they don't answer the problem with the valve. They're just trying to decrease either acid secretion or the acidity in your stomach. And we've got a host of these medicines over there. And I would never say that if you're suffering during a particular day with heartburn that you couldn't take these. So these are options, but chronically, you don't want to be taking these every single day. If you're suffering from long-term heartburn, talk to your doctor about it. There are things, though, you can do at home. If you lay down, lay on your left side. That may decrease some of that reflux that we often see. Even chewing gum has been found to decrease some of the acidity. Now, a lot of folks think milk is great. Oh, milk is so soothing. But that can increase acid, right? Absolutely. Putting milk helps to soothe the stomach initially, but then you get this massive acid rebound right after it because calcium can stimulate acid secretion. And then lastly, avoid alcohol, caffeinated beverages, fried fatty foods. That will help decrease your symptoms. And worst case scenario, Micah, you're pretty happy, right? I'm very happy. Well, we're so glad you could share your story with us. Dr. Lee, thank you for being here today. Coming up, we're helping soothe all kinds of burns, including painful scalps, sweat that stings, even blazing parts down there. And then later, when you've got real sinus problems, who should you call, the ENT or the allergist? Find out next.